Kate, Duchess of Cambridge dazzled in a diamond tiara that belonged to Princess Diana, as she arrived at Buckingham Palace for a state dinner with Queen Maxima and King Willem Alexander on Tuesday evening. King Willem Alexander is making his first official state tour of the UK after ascending to the throne in 2013 following his mother Queen Beatrix's abdication. The Dutch royals are currently on day one of a two-day state visit to the UK. The Dutch royal family last visited Britain in 1982, when Queen Beatrix was still on the throne with husband Prince Claus. Kate Middleton was pictured arriving for the Dutch state banquet which is being hosted by the Queen at Buckingham Palace, with her husband, Prince William. And she was wearing a very special accessory, a Cambridge lover's knot tiara that once belonged to her husband's mother, Diana the Princess of Wales. Royal women are required to wear ball gowns and tiaras for the banquet, according to strict royal protocol. Camilla, the Duchess of Cornwall, also wore the Greville tiara on loan from the Queen who was left the accessory by the Queen Mother. The Queen herself also dazzled in a long-sleeved white gown for the occasion. Protocol also says that royal ladies must wear the Elizabeth II family order, a jewel-encased image of the Queen on a yellow ribbon which must be worn on the left shoulder. During the banquet, the Queen told King Willem Alexander that as we look toward a new partnership with Europe the values shared by the UK and Holland are our greatest assets. The comments come after the Dutch king spoke about Brexit in his address to the Houses of Parliament earlier in the day, with the Queen usually remaining impartial in her political views. The Queen told the Dutch head of state, I recall the state visit of your grandmother Queen Juliana and Prince Bernard in 1972, when I spoke of how our nation's close understanding and relationship would become increasingly important as a new configuration of Europe was emerging. As we look toward a new partnership with Europe, it is our shared values and commitment to each other, that are our greatest asset, and demonstrate that even through change, our enduring alliance remains strong, and as innovators, traders and internationalists we look with confidence to the future. Following the Queen's comments, King Willem Alexander, seated near Prime Minister Theresa May, said, at present, a lot of attention is focused on the technical side of Brexit. That's understandable and necessary. But in the midst of all that complexity we should not lose sight of the greater narrative that continues to bind us. The greater narrative of freedom, openness and cooperation. Of growth and a prosperity whose fruits are enjoyed by all. He went on to personally praise the Queen, highlighting her now infamous appearance in the London 2012 Olympics opening ceremony, describing her as the most fearless Bond girl ever. King Willem Alexander said, in recent decades, you have seen your country, Europe and the world change enormously. The world looks to you as a trusted beacon in the midst of upheaval. Your ability to keep in touch with the times is striking. You even have an adventurous streak, as you showed six years ago at the opening of the Olympic Games. In tribute to the close links between the British and Dutch royal families, Queen Maxima wore the famous Diara, from the Dutch royal collection that featured the Stuart Diamond. According to the official royal family Twitter, 280 slices of chocolate orange dort and several types of royal-themed pastry were served at the banquet. Yesterday King Willem Alexander and Queen Maxima attended lunch at Buckingham Palace before laying a wreath at the grave of the unknown warrior at Westminster Abbey. King Willem Alexander and his wife met Queen Elizabeth as they arrived yesterday and kissed the British monarch on both cheeks and clasped her hands with his, a gesture that was repeated by his wife. King Willem Alexander's mother Queen Beatrix is a distant cousin of Elizabeth II and the pair always greeted each other warmly with a kiss on the cheek. During their busy first day, Willem Alexander and Maxima also addressed the Houses of Parliament. The Dutch king used the opportunity to express his regret over Britain's decision to leave the European Union, Adden said the bloc had made great achievements despite being flawed. He told the Parliament in his state address, It truly saddens us to see a close partner leave. But of course we respect your country's choice. He said the 150,000 Dutch nationals living in Britain and 50,000 British nationals living in the Netherlands deserved special attention saying, many of them have lived and worked here for many years. 
they feel at home in their local community and their contribution to society is valued. Yet these individuals now live under the shadow of uncertainty about their future status. I understand how difficult this is for them and I trust this uncertainty will be resolved. King Willem Alexander was greeted by Britain's political leaders including Prime Minister Theresa May, Foreign Secretary Jeremy Hunt and the Home Secretary Sajid Javid on Horse Guards Parade in Whitehall. The pair were also pictured with Labour leader Jeremy Corbyn. Following their welcome, the Dutch royals met Prince Charles and his wife Camilla, the Duchess of Cornwall, for tea at Clarence House earlier on Tuesday evening. Prince Charles and the Duchess of Cornwall accompanied Willem Alexander and Maxima from the Dutch Embassy to Whitehall. Waiting on Henry VIII's former jousting yard was the Guard of Honour formed by the 1st Battalion, Coldstream Guards, in their scarlet tunics and bearskins. Nearby was the Household Cavalry Mounted Regiment in their shining breastplates and plumed helmets and the band of the Household Cavalry. King Willem Alexander and Queen Maxima visited the UK in 2015, with a promise of an official state visit later, for the Remembrance Day Parade in London. It marked the 70th anniversary of the liberation of the Netherlands following the end of World War II. Kate Middleton is reporting back for royal duty. The Duchess of Cambridge will return to the workforce with a solo engagement on Tuesday, October 2, her first since taking off for maternity leave in March. The Duchess will visit Sayers Croft Trust Forest School and Wildlife Garden at Paddington Recreation Ground, Kensington Palace announced. The Trust is a registered outdoor education charity that aims to involve the local community, especially young people, in the enjoyment and care of the environment its official website says. View image on Twitter. Middleton's last twerking event before giving birth was on March 22 at the Commonwealth Games in London, which she attended with Prince William. After that, she stepped out of the public eye for maternity leave, and later welcomed Prince Louis, her and William's third child, on April 23. Gate and William did attend an Easter church service with the rest of the royal family on April 1. But that wasn't a working event. The Duchess of Cambridge's upcoming October 2nd appearance will take place just over six months after her last working event. It is traditional for new royal mums to take a six-month break from official engagements, royal biographer, Duncan Larkham previously told Bazaar.com. That doesn't mean Kate has been cooped up in Kensington Palace non-stop for half a year. She did appear at public family events like the royal wedding. Prince Louis christening, and trooping the color. The wedding doesn't count because it was a family affair but other than that, she will pick and choose her engagements," Lark matted to Bazaar.com. In fact, the Duchess did attend a few work-related events during leave, including the Wimbledon Finals, she's a royal patron of the tournament, the Royal Air Force Centenary, and a secret send-off for her and William's former private secretary. We can't wait to see her back. It is hard to imagine Kate Middleton being jealous of anyone, but according to her husband, there's one thing he got to do that left her a little green. Prince William, who's currently on a solo tour in Africa, has revealed that his wife is jealous of his trip. While attending a reception in Vindhoek, Namibia, the Duke of Cambridge joked in a formal address that he was delighted to be visiting Namibia for the first time and was looking forward to getting a few good uninterrupted nights of sleep while away from his wife and three children. Joking aside, the prince said to reception guests, I am only sorry that my wife Catherine is not able to join me. He said that Kate was immensely jealous that she wasn't with him. While the Duchess remains in England with their children, William has embarked on his own solo tour of Africa featuring stops also in Tanzania and Kenya, a country close to his heart as it is where he proposed to his wife of seven years. Kensington Palace announced that the future King of England is visiting the African countries as President of the United for Wildlife Organization. William and his brother, Prince Harry, are strong advocates against the killing of African wildlife such as elephants and rhinos and have regarded Africa as a special place since they were children. 
My visit to Namibia this week is focused on conservation, William said while at the residence of the British High Commissioner to Namibia. This is an issue very close to my heart and I know is a matter of deep pride to you all as well. Your country is famous for its beautiful environment and wildlife. This is the reason why so many tourists, including tens of thousands of Brits, visit every year. He continued, tourism continues to grow year on year and in 2017 accounted for 100,000 jobs, with the potential to add many more. Protecting Namibia's wildlife is crucial to realizing this potential. I have been very lucky to see firsthand today in the Kunena region some outstanding conservation work. And while William enjoyed his royal trip without the Duchess, his sister-in-law, Meghan Markle, also stepped out without her husband and attended her first solo outing since becoming the Duchess of Sussex. The new royal caused a stir at the Royal Academy of Art in London on Tuesday when she was seen closing the car door.